We're gonna take one last final look at this entire job. So the black is really, really nice. What is going on guys, it's Toby here and today we're gonna be wrapping Sully's roof. Okay, yeah. Never mind, I gotta move. Anyways, what I was trying to say is that we're gonna be wrapping Sally's roof, of course. I got this video truck and I'm like, I just... <laughs> no worries, no worries. For the second time now, we're gonna be wrapping Sally's roof. Gloss black, I think that's what we ordered up. So we're at John's house and we're gonna pull up into his garage to get that done. What are we gonna do about this ante antenna here? We're just gonna drop the headliner. Well, the wrap will probably end up matching that a lot better. Bro, that E85 bussin. This right here is the wrap. So it's from 3M. I ordered it off of Amazon. It's gloss black. And then I also picked up a kit, basic wrapping kit, heat gun, squeegees, etc. in there. So if you guys want this, I will link it down in the description below. But it's pretty cool. And adding on to the material list, we have 70% isopropyl alcohol in a professional sprayer bottle, right? Right now we're prepping. So we're using the isopropyl alcohol in the bottle, spray it all over the roof and get it cleaned up, pretty self-explanatory. You don't wanna have any debris on there because then the 3M's not gonna adhere. So we have to use some detailer too because, I mean, this roof is just absolutely disgusting. I can't even, oh no, I washed the car recently. It's just the Florida weather that's nasty. <laughs> Xander is, but we wipe the whole roof down with isopropyl alcohol, cleaner, quick detailer, so we got all the contaminants out of the paint. That's fine. We're probably not going to use this for a like entry, so anyway, because there's a little bit of defect in it. Part of it. What the heck? Yeah, it was taped all the way, like at the top, it was taped like multiple times over. Yeah, I am now. <laughs> yeah. Seems to have done the job. Just like I roll the entire thing. Where did you put this on? I just put it on the side to hold it up for a second. So Xander's gonna trim up the excess that we don't need with the included razor in the kit. There's not going any farther. Yeah, just pull straight. How about the creases on this side? We're going to work them out. They can keep pulling it up. This is not the finished product. But oh, I'm so you just keep pulling up and up and up and stretching yeah. it? So you're going to squeeze you that or should I pull up right now? Pull up. Now we're kind of just squeegeeing out everything we have so far. So we laid it, as you guys will see within the time lapse, a fantastic time lapse from John's phone. And we're gonna try and remove all these air bubbles, any sort of creases, squeegeeing, and lifting the wrap. Yeah, I have a bunch of like rock chips in my 
roof, so you are unfortunately going to be able to see it through the wrap. Can't do anything about it. You know, that's what happens when you really drive a car. So, it is what it is. I think this one needs to be lifted. Mr. Harris, would you like to explain what you're going to do for the antenna here? So I'm going to try to get as much air as close as possible and then we'll make a little release hold, release the majority of the air and then we're going to cut around the antenna. <laughs> Just very, very light handed. Don't push all the way down. So like when you see when I make the first incision, I'm going to push down and then slowly cut. This is why I thought I needed that knifeless tape to begin with. So when you try and go in there with a X-Acto knife and cut up this edge, you just can't get a straight and perfect line. There's too much room for error with shaking and all that type of stuff. So it doesn't come out clean. And I don't really want that. So what I think we're gonna do is acquire some knifeless tape from somebody because you guys have to order that. You can't get it like in store. And we're gonna heat the wrap up, stretch it back over, and then use the knifeless tape to get a clean cut. Does he know? Have you told me that you I was like, did you, are you watching these videos or something? Cause there's, there's like 34, there's no way. All right guys, everybody's down below. Guys, how old do you think Devin is? Xander Harris, welcome back to this version's episode of AKA the episode where we up Toby's car. You guys did not know, I'm your host, Xander Harris. Um, so what we're gonna be doing today is, wow, so the fuel system's been having issues, right? So we're gonna take the fuel system, Whipple, and the motor out of the car and swap it into Devin's car. And we're also gonna be doing a little bit of paint correction with this brush. Well, while they went out to the club, we decided to drive for an hour no, to nowhere. You gave me the wrong directions. No. Yes. <laughs> it's the next morning, probably looking kind of rough. I was risen the shoddies up last night, or or the one shoddy, the other one's my friend, but this was the half result from the lack of knifeless tape, and I'm just not gonna settle for that, you know? I'm trying to uphold the highest quality on this car, and that jagged edge is really pissing me off. I think I'm just gonna redo this, and we'll pick up the vlog when I have a fresh roll of vinyl. The funny thing is, is that Amazon actually refunded me because they sent me it with the kinks in there. So I sent them a picture of that and they refunded me the full amount. So I didn't lose money on this. The only thing that I lost was some time, but I did get some good practice. It's time to rip it all off and get another reattempt when I get the roll in the mail. There it is, ripped it all off. Here's a 3M that's left over. I'm gonna go trash it. Big rips. Oh, over here. Rip. Oh, garage start for the boys. Y'all, you ready? Yep. I did a reattempt at wrapping the roof. So I got all my supplies right there. I actually have the knifeless tape also. Got that from Amazon. But what I'm gonna do this time is remove the antenna instead of wrapping it around. So I dropped the headliner. If you guys wanna do that, basically you just have to pop out these side portions right there, the top clip. I don't know if you can see it. And then you can push this down enough so that you can manipulate it. That gray bolt right there is the bolt to the antenna. It's literally right there. Obviously the antenna is coming off right now, but I don't know what to do with that random wire. This time around, I'm also gonna be using a clay bar because the riders went nuts in the comment section saying that I didn't use a clay bar. I did want to use it originally, but like we kind of rushed it. And this is lifting a lot of the contaminants out of the paint. This is what we were missing last time. And that's why the Zesty Man had to cut the rain gutter out. So this is the knifeless tape. That's what the roll looks like. You 
lay it and pretty much you lift it once the wrap is done. This is a part that I really messed up last time. Well, actually I didn't mess up, but I didn't really pay that much attention to. I'm cutting against the glass and I'm holding the blade in a specific manner. This keeps a steady hand and you just go against the glass the entire time. You don't need to put the blade deep down in there. This is the knife with tape cut in the wrap. Awesome. Awesome sauce. <laughs> hey, you got the other side now, and this side actually came out straighter than the other. So I think a lot of this has to do with how well you place the knife to take. That is insane. That's literally like a straight, straight edge. Cut a small hole right here so that we can pass the wire for the antenna and put it back on. How big of a hole do you think we need? Just like a poke? Probably. All right. You think that's good enough to pass the wire? Yeah. All right. And then the last step here is to peel all that clear off. So this is the protective film that they leave on the wrap so that when you're squeegeeing and stuff, you don't scratch it up. Oh, wow. It came out really, really good. Now I did have some spots where I was losing clear and I suppose that was from a uh, messed up from the accident and the repaint, but it is what it is. We ball. All of Evan's and Evan and I's uh, struggle coming to an end here. We worked hard on this. Ooh, that looks really, really sleek. And I mean, the flaws you see here are in the clear coat underneath the paint, but otherwise that looks insane. So I'm gonna point out some of the flaws here because, you know, I wanna be a perfectionist. Right here, it was a little bit uneven because I cut that by hand. The back glass, I cut that perfectly. I just put the, uh, the knife to the glass, only the tip of it, and I held it with two fingers like I was showing before. Slid that across the back, I think there was another flaw here with the knifeless tape. It didn't cut so straight. I have to get more experience with that. I don't know what happened with the wrap back here. If any of you guys are experienced in wraps, possibly could explain that to me. And then obviously we had this issue here where I didn't cut straight by hand, but I mean the back glass in the front is pretty much flawless. Like I couldn't have done a better job. And if you stand from this dis distance away, it looks like it's a perfect job. We're gonna take one last final look at this entire job. So the black is really, really nice. I think it was a good an addition. They actually make some carbon fiber wrap. I wouldn't personally put it on my car. You can tell between having that real carbon here and then the fake up there, but it definitely looks super, super good. It matches the mirrors, it matches the grill. So I think we're gonna go ahead and finally close out this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.